Welcome to our Sophistic online presentation. I'm going to show you what's new in Sophistic Reinforcement Detailing 2015 for Autodesk Revit 2015. My name is Roland Suhr. Hello! Before we get started, some general information. I know reading manuals is not that popular, but I recommend if a question comes up, hold the cursor over a tool and press F1. The documentation might answer your question. For further questions, I recommend to check out our user forum. Don't hesitate to create a new topic to ask a question or if you have a tip to offer. But now let's start. In my example building I have already created some reinforcement. Therefore, by the way, I have used another app, Sophistic Reinforcement Generation which allows you to generate reinforcement according design results. You can see the corresponding tools create and check here on the right hand side of the ribbon panel. Alright, now let's start with the small but really nice visibility command which allows you to change the rebar visibility states to for example solid, set unobscured and maybe for the active view only let's say a Okay, and check what happens. We see all the rebars has changed their visibility immediately. Here on the left hand side you see another new tool called Browse. Let's try it out. Now we see the small Browse reinforcement dialog. In the top of the dialog you can choose a sheet. Let's try sheet B2. You can navigate in the view like zoom, rotate or whatever while the dialog is open. If we change the mark we see the corresponding rebars are highlighted immediately and once again and we see the longitudinal bars at the bottom has the bar mark too. But that should be enough. Let's zoom out a little bit and switch to the already prepared sheet of the floor in level 2. Now I'm pleased to present one of my favorites, the new split rebars tool. First we need some rebars. I want to see the upper reinforcement. Therefore let's switch back to the 3D view and start the layers tool. back to the sheet and we see only the wished upper reinforcement because I have added some view filters before which works with our sophistic layer parameter. But now as promised the split rebars tool we see that the bars in the floor have still their whole lengths. Let's try it out and start split rebars here you can set a desired stock length and a minimum lap length, for example 50 cm. Here are different ways to split available and where it should start from. And additionally you have the option to place the reverse stagger it. Let's try it out and say OK. Let's zoom a little bit closer to see what happened. For example these bars have now a length of 12 meter exactly. And of course they are placed staggered. Let's annotate the view quickly to get a better overview. Therefore I will use the already known height and tag command. Start, choose the reinforcement, finish. OK, now I will show you another new feature as part of the Hide and Tag Rebars command. Users in many countries want to see a symbolic representation which shows where the rebar set is located, e.g. at the top or at the bottom of the floor. Therefore we have a new option in the settings dialog. It's the Adjust Hide and Tag symbol according to rebar layer checkbox. Let's check it, say OK and try it out. First I unhide maybe this rebar set. Let's say unhide and now we hide and tag it again with the active new option. Now you see the detail of the bar 
has a symbolic small bending at the end because of the top layer. This style I have seen from French and Iceland customers. But anyway, you can create your own style how each layer should be presented by customizing the detail family Sophistic Detail Reba Set. For example, in Netherlands I have seen some small triangles instead of bended bar ends. Okay, and one more regarding bar ends because we have a new tool to tag them. To show how this works, I will switch to the sheet of this beam. Sometimes it's complicated to see bars which are placed behind each other. Let's start the bar end tool and choose maybe this one and zoom a little bit closer. And we see now the bar has a tag at its end. With the small flip arrow we can mirror it to the other side. And here in the properties palette for example change the slash lengths. Let's try point 0.6 apply but in this case you may want to see it maybe in a completely different style like this arrow. Here you can move the distance to the bar and of course if we edit the length of our bar our tag will update it immediately. And once again of course you can create your own symbol by adapting the family Sophistic Detail Bar End. But now let's talk about bending schedules. I guess not only users in the UK are happy to hear that we've implemented Reba shape detection according to British standard. This choice can be made here in the settings dialog at the schedule tab. Here in the drop down at the top. Also we have started to support the Revit schedules. And to show how this looks like I've prepared this Rima bending schedule. I have used a filter to see only Rimas of sheet B2. We see that some columns of the schedule like member, shape code, shape sketch are still empty. Let's place the schedule maybe here at the bottom. Right click and zoom a little bit closer. I will start the new tool update and we see that all the missing information will be created and added to the schedule. And last but not least we have one more improvement regarding Rebar schedules. The already known command creates now additionally a CSV file in the project folder which can be accessed very easy in the others drop down and here you find the CSV file of the sheet B2. This file can very easy opened and edited in Excel for example. But now back to our project because we are almost at the end. You will find some more new tools in this new version like the new isolate rebar the move and rotate tool and also the really nice one height and detail. I would say check it out in the documentation, try it out, send us your feedback or share your experience in our user forum. I thank you for your attention and hope you will like these forthcoming developments from Sophistic. Thank you.